What's going on guys? So today I want to give you guys a price range video. So throughout this season, I have done videos where it's like the buy and avoids for the week or uh, the best card available for each position currently. And I'm having a hard time finding like a happy medium because when I started doing the best cards in each slot, so it was basically answering, you know, who should I choose over this player? Um, when the new cards come out, I wanted the video to show you guys because I was getting a ton of questions about it. And then I kind of stopped doing the buy and avoids, um, but people are asking for that again. So I want to do a kind of a new one where I want to touch on every single price range. So essentially what I'm going to do is give you guys three or four cards in each price range to help you guys, you know, of all of all bankrolls essentially in Hockey Ultimate Team uh, to see if I can't help you find you guys, find your, you know, your best cards that you can go after and ones to target, especially for guys that are free to play and, you know, don't often come into a ton of coins. So that being said, if you are a free to play player and you're about to reply with, how do I make coins? What's the fastest way to make coins? It's never been easier to get packs and coins than NHL 20. Literally just grind squad battles. I know it's boring, but if you really want new players and coins, that's how you do it. And then play division or play um, <clears> Hut <throat> Rivals. And a lot of people say, well, I can't win a lot of games in Rivals because I can't compete because I have a worse team. You literally don't lose anything if you lose in Hut Rivals. All you do is accrue points. You don't lose them. So there's really no downfall at all and no reason why you can't grind out rivals and squad battles, you know, to to get a bankroll and some packs and hopefully get a card that you can use. So this video is going to be all about price ranges and I uh, hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments section down below if you do enjoy it or if you want to see something else. And uh, always subscribe if you do enjoy the content. I do appreciate it. Let's get into it. All right, so 0 to 25,000 coins. These are the guys you should go after if you've got 25,000 coins and less. First up is the 86 Icon Mason Raymond, 6 foot 185. So it's, you know, along the borderline of size. But he's got that 99 speed, acceleration, 98 agility, and then 90 balance and endurance. His skating is fantastic. And his shot is average enough. If you're going to use him on the wing, which you kind of need to because he's got 75 face up, his wrist shot accuracy and power at 83 and 85 along with the 88 deking makes this a fantastic card to go after if you're looking to start your team. This would be a first-line winger on a lot of guys' teams that have, you know, that, again, you're just looking to start playing the game. This is one of the first cards that I would go after once you get a few coins in your bankroll. So it'd be the 86 Mason Raymond. Then the next card that we're going to target is a couple of base cards. Um, again, so I, I want to I want to hit all price ranges essentially. So we're going to go with the base. <clears throat> um, we'll start with defense here first actually. With my boy, and that would be the base Eric Carlson. This actually stood as one of the best cards uh, in the game for or far as far as right D go for quite some time. But we'll start with here is the Eric Carlson for right defenseman, 92 skating and above, and then his wrist shot and slap shot all around 84, um, along with uh, 88 passing and whatnot. So you can get him <clears throat> again for around 20,000 coins now, and right defenseman on the lower end are really tough to come by. You can even get him around 10 now, he's dropped a ton. Um, because he was one of the best in the game of right D, but now there's a lot of higher-end right defensemen that are better, and obviously this one did take the hit. So he would be one of the first defensemen I would go after just because he is very fast and uh, does have a decent shot for defenseman cards in this game early on in the game. The third under-25K card you should target <clears throat> would be the Nikita Kucherov base card. Uh, this, is, again, is one of the better winger cards you can get, and he is fairly cheap now. So um, 90, 92 speed, 93 and acceleration and agility. And then he's got 90 wrist shot accuracy and 85 power along with that A91 offensive awareness. It's a great card um, for, you know, ba as far as base cards go, it's one of the best. Um, and definitely one I would go after if you are a free-to-play player. If we're looking at the market right now, um, as far as prices go, you're looking to get base uh, base Kucherov for around 25k. That's pretty much the minimum and definitely worth it in my opinion. There's one here for 23, so um, he would be one of the other ones. So Mason Raymond, 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 the icon, and then uh, Kucherov and Carlson base forms, and that'll do it for under 25k. Next up, we're in the 25k to 50k bucket. So again, these are cards under 50k but over 25,000. First one would be Akil Thomas, my boy from the Niagara Ice Dogs. You're going to get him around 40k here. 
And uh, this is a fantastic card. So 99 speed across the board. And then as far as his slap shot and wrist shot and power or wrist shot go, it's 82 accuracy and 92 power along with two to one T. He's six foot, not bad. And then his offensive awareness is an 88. All the other stats are pretty mediocre. But again, if you're looking on the lower end for cards, this is a great one. Plus his face offs are an 86. So you can use him at center. It's not a total wash. Um, he is still passable at center with that face off rating. But this would be one of the better cards that you can get for under 50,000 coins. Next up in the 50k bucket, we've got the 87 Tyson Berry team of the week. This is on my team for quite some time. Again, another right defenseman. Um, there are more higher end ones now, but there was a long period of time where there just wasn't very many good ones. 92 speed, 94 acceleration and agility. Then his slap shot power and accuracy is 88 for the power, 82 for the accuracy. Offensive and defensive awareness are higher at 88 and 87. And his passing is a 90. This is a great offensive right defenseman card. Slightly better than the Eric Carlson um obviously and uh yeah one of my favorites as far as a uh, right defenseman go for this bucket and it is he is going for very cheap now around 30k so it'd be a great card for you guys to target um once you you know are, are kind of leaning onto your second or first round of upgrading cards we the 87 team of the week tyson barry next in the 50k bucket we've got the young star jack hughes uh, 1 to X is a little bit smaller, obviously. Um, so this is going to kind of depend on if you're someone who likes to use fast, speedy wingers. Um, if you do like speed down the boards, if you like to control TOA and things like that, he wouldn't be someone I would target. But if you do like the fast guys, 99 speed, acceleration, and agility, then his shot on the wing would be uh, 86 and 85 for the wrist shot power and accuracy. Um, again, very, very good. I would just, yeah, like I said, if you are someone who likes to control player, hold off people with the puck, this one wouldn't be it just because you can't use him on the draw because he has 79 face-offs. So you're going to have to use him on the wing. So just be mindful of his size. But if not, you like the fast guys, this is a definite buy as far as his price point is concerned and the major you know, the major stats for wingers. And then finally in the 50,000 coin bucket, we've got the base Connor McDavid. 96 speed, 97 agility and acceleration. Then that wrist shot at 88 power, 84 accuracy, almost the identical in slap shot as well. Offensive awareness is a 91. Deking 90, hand eye 89, passing 89, puck control 90. Fantastic card still, and again, if you are looking to upgrade your team, 50k or under 50k for a base Connor McDavid is a great way to do it. All right, on to the 100,000 coin bucket. So these are going to be cards that are in between 50 and 100k. So if you do have a little bit more coins now, maybe you pack someone good, sold it, and you're looking to upgrade your team. Here are the cards that you want to target for that price range. First is going to be the 88 Dougie Hamilton. I use this card now on my stack team and again you're going to get him for under 100k getting dropping in price quite a bit now but the 88 dougie hamilton is a unit 6 6 2 10 2 to 1 timer and then his speed at 95 96 acceleration 95 agility and balance fantastic then his slap shot at 89 power 81 accuracy plus the 1t synergy fantastic offensive awareness at a 95 this guy absolutely throws pucks in the net and a great buy at that price range Next up, we've got a couple of young star guys to go after. First would be the 88 Jesse Pugliarvi. Again, um, a big, big winger. 6'4", 211, 97 speed. But then he's got that 99 endurance, 97 agility, or I'm um, sorry, a balance. Um, this again, so if you guys, like I was saying about Jack Hughes, if you like someone who just nags down the wing, um, this would be the opposite. So if you are someone who likes to control play, TOA is really important. You kind of just hold on to the puck, look for a play back door. You're going to want to go with someone like this because he is going to hold guys off um, quite well. Plus, that 93 deking is you know just a great, um, great kind of backdoor thing to have on a card like this. Uh, you can definitely use a lot of L2s, stuff like that to hold guys off. And you can get him for just under 100K now. Uh, very close, but he is dropping in right here, like I said, 95K for him. Um, so he's in the higher range of that. But again, a card to target if you do have the you know closer to 100K in terms of your bank. And then the other young star you want to go after a little bit cheaper is the Nick Suzuki. Um, 99 speed, 94 and 95 acceleration and agility. Then he's got the, as far as you're going to have to, you could use him on center at 87 faceoff for sure. Um, but if you do use him on wing, um, you know, because of that speed. 
Uh, he does have 89 wrist shot power, 85 accuracy, then plus the 95 digging. You can just get right into the middle. Good card for someone who likes to do short side wristers, that kind of thing. Uh, so keep that in mind. And you can get him uh, quite a bit cheaper, as is in in terms of uh, comparing him to Pool Yarvi again around 60k. It's gonna be Sarah Noel from the Oshawa Generals, six foot five, two oh five, and he's got 98 speed. His skating stats are wild: 97 acceleration, agility, then that 99 bounce on a guy that's six foot five his shot is kind of you know all over the place because it's 92 power but the accuracy is only 80 um and then he's got 95 body checking like i said if you're someone who likes to hold on to the puck and wait for that play pass it back door this would be a card to do it with or someone you know you could send him out for a one time with that huge wrist shot or that slap shot power you're going to be able to get one off quite quickly so um this would be a great big card to go after and you can get him for under 100k Okay, guys, now on to the 100 to 200K price point. So these are going to be guys that, um, again, now you've got a quite a good team, maybe a 90 overall. You've got about two, you've got less than 200K uh, to spend. So we're going to go after first would be the 89 Matt Duchesne. I'd personally have this card if it wasn't for my team, you know, uh, not needing a, a lefty. Um, but 99 speed, acceleration, agility. Start right there. That's fantastic. Then he's got uh, 80, almost 88 uh, shooting across the board, and then the 99 offensive awareness plus the 92 faceoffs. This is a awesome card and especially for under 200k this is the play i mean on playstation again for 160 it looks like right here um definitely someone i would target if i had if i was looking for someone in that price range next up is the young star cody glass if you need a righty this is it 98 speed acceleration and agility 99 endurance 97 balance so he's not getting knocked off the puck then he's got a shooting right around 90 88 accuracy for slap shot wrist shots 89 and then the powers at 90 and then his offensive awareness is an 89 deking 95 which is awesome puck control passing and hot hand eye all 89 this is a great offensive winger especially for a righty and again under 200k definitely the play if you're looking for a right winger and then lastly for defense in the 100 to 200k bucket we've got alex petrangelo six foot three 210 two to one t it's that 99 speed that we're looking at he's a big body defenseman again right defense kind of lacks that uh you know uh, high-end guys not anymore but in that middle section in uh, under 90 and above 85 there's not very many good ones so uh this is definitely one of the best his shot is a mess i mean 89 power but 78 accuracy so that's kind of tough but i mean just shoot low um but the 99 speed combined with his size and then um you know his shot blocking stick checking at 88 and then his 90 defensive awareness good card to have and i used him for quite some time it's awesome if you get caught he can just rush right back it's uh uh, very very fun card to use all right and finally 200 to unlimited so this is anything over 200,000 coins these are the cards i think to target at the price point they're at we're gonna start with alexander ovechkin right around 450k this is my the best right winger in the game. Oh, sorry, right-handed winger in the game. 94 speed or speed across the board, but 99 balance at six foot three, two thirty-five. He's not getting knocked off the puck. I love it. And then in the slot, he's got that 94 slap shot accuracy and power. Combine that with his wrist shot being 93, hand eye at 80, at 95, puck control 94, and body checking 90. Just a very very good complete card and one of the better ones in the game. Even if he gets upgrades and whatnot, this card is still going to be viable for quite some time. So 450k, I'm completely okay with spending on uh, for the duo Alexander Ovechkin. Next, another righty you're going to get for a little bit cheaper, uh, just over 200k. You're looking at the David Pasternak, 91 overall, 99 speed, acceleration, and agility. Then he's got the 93 wrist shot accuracy, 88 power, so he's got the able to come down to the short side wristers quite well. Deking, 94, hand-eye passing, puck control, 92 and above. Offensive awareness at 98, and stick checking at 88, which is kind of underrated, but that's a very good stat for this kind of card. Um, yeah, it definitely, if you have someone over 200k, and you're just kind of in that, like, ah, I don't really know if should I save up for, you know, a master set player, or just kind of wait, this would be the card to do it with, like, 244k right here for that. Um, definitely a good buy for the 91 David Pasternak. Next, just like the base card, is the Eric Carlson, again, going for about 450k, 
even if he gets upgrades, it doesn't matter because he's got 99 skating, endurance at 97, and then his shot is right at 90. So, again, you're not really going to be missing much as he upgrades uh, throughout the year. And then his offensive and defensive awareness are fantastic as well. Puck control, passing, hand-eye, and deking all above 95. The only thing he's really lacking is body checking, so he's not really a card you want to just kind of you know lay the boom with. But stick checking at 92, just one of the best right now currently is the best right-handed defenseman in the game and he's going to be for you know even after uh, if there's another christmas event or something like that you're going to be able to use him well into january for sure next is the patrick line again another duo card the duos have been very good but again right around that same range as pasternak and if you're someone who likes to again Instead of going up and down the boards, you're someone who likes to control the play. Six foot five, two oh six, two to one T, two to X. Great card. Ninety five speed, but then his shot over ninety two. Offensive awareness is a ninety nine. Hand eye and deking ninety four, ninety one. Just a great card. I would personally would rather have Pasternak, but again, that's my play style. I know a lot of top end players that you know I'm very good friends with, whether it be hockey king, OFS hockey kings, regs, um, you know. John Wayne, they all love Patrick Laine, so at that price point, it's, you know, a fantastic buy. And then lastly, this is just my own personal one. Um, again, it is it does have something to do with play style, but this has been my best card and one I score with more than anyone other than the Alexander Ovechkin now. But the 89 Howie Morenz, and again, uh, another top player, again, I, I speak with and I'm friends with a lot of the top end players in the game, and Hockey Kings will vouch for me here. This... Howie Morenz on the wing is bananas because of that wrist shot. It's a glitch right now. 96 accuracy, 95 power, and he's got the 95 speed to go with it. You just cut into the middle, or any time that you get the puck around that faceoff dot, you can just throw it top corner with him. And until goalies kind of get up there in overalls, I just don't think they can catch up with it currently. So again, this is just a card to my own personal one. Um, over two, he's just around two hundred and thirty thousand coins, and personally, I think it's worth it. If they do upgrade too, if all of the icons get gold master set upgrades, and you can upgrade him, uh, it's going to be a great card to the end of the year as well. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And please subscribe if you did like the content. Again, check me out on Twitch every day, Monday, well, Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. in the morning, Eastern time till 2 p.m. or longer. And then on the weekend for Hut Champs runs and whatnot. Or catch me at night when I stream a variety game. Tonight I'm doing Call of Duty, for example, at 8 p.m. until about 11. So guys, thank you for watching. I'm No Sleeps 12. Have a good one, boys.